the state of odisha is rich in minerals the processing of these minerals for extraction of valuable metals also produces a waste or the byproduct as an offshoot you know the quantity of these waste material which is getting generated is substantial in quantity and generally it is stored in an impoundment however the utilization of this waste material is very minimal although a few of the waste materials are used in bulk quantity but many of the materials utilization is very minimal and there are no proper technologies developed for the bulk utilization however the challenge lies in how to utilize more than one material in a single application following the concept called the circular economy so development of geopolymer concrete product seems to be very promising we try to develop geopolymer concrete using three variety of industrial products such as fly ash red mat and in slag so these three are three different by products produced by the three different industries what you are seeing here is a geopolymer concrete which is produced uh, in the year 2015 so currently the age of this geopolymer concrete is more than 6 years if you look at the geometry or any other thing so it is uh, in its perfect shape as such there is no kind of a damage that you can able to notice so there are two variety of uh, geopolymer concrete one is in the form of a cube next is in the form of a cylinder now over the 6 years period of time you can understand the durability characteristics of the geopolymer concrete so this geopolymer concrete so has been produced without subjecting to any elevated temperature which is normally required in case if the same concrete is produced using the fly ash alone so this is uh, one of our biggest claim moreover if you look at this concrete this is red in color that is uh, because of the use of red mud which is typically red in color currently the geopolymer global market is approximately 4.5 billion dollars and it is estimated that the growth of geopolymer concrete will be 25% as per im arc now as regards to india the scope for geopolymer concrete is tremendous currently so the geopolymer concrete is uh, market is biggest in usa and australia in australia the geopolymer product is marketized in the form of e crete while in india uh, it is notice it that the geopolymer concrete is used in delhi metro construction so the marketability for geopolymer concrete in india is tremendous so this could become a good source first as a replacement of the portland concrete second so this could become a rich resource in terms of the concrete for the prestigious government of india programs such as atal awas yojana or smart cities or housing for all by the government of india so probably so it can be thought of as uh, geopolymer concrete as a replacement of the portland concrete now this concrete is said to be a green concrete it doesn't emit any kind of a co2 because this is completely the cement free product so 0% cement is used here here only it is activated with alkaline solutions such as sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate so therefore it is called as a green concrete it is found that the geopolymer concrete is especially good as an acid resistance material or it is highly durable in case if you are if you want to utilize it for the as a fire resisting material the another important aspect that comes to everybody's mind is what would be the cost of manufacturing of a geopolymer concrete say for cubic meter we have done a cost economics we found that so the development of geopolymer concrete is economical to ordinary portland concrete and in terms of the strength wise also we achieved as i as 72 megapascals of strength you can understand 
at such a high strength so this concrete can be utilized for all structural applications so alike the ordinary portland concrete moreover moreover so when you manufacture the geopolymer concrete you don't need any additional accessories more than which require for manufacturing of ordinary portland concrete so therefore there is no additional cost involved in manufacturing of the geopolymer concrete as regards to india the promising applications could be the payment materials or development of the railway sleepers or waste containment facilities so and so on so we have already seen uh, the the concept of the development of the product okay the which you already call it as the cement free concrete the geopolymer concrete is the fly ash which is coming which has come from the thermal power plant and this is this slag we call it as the ground granited blast furnace slag and this is the red mud which comes from the uh, the byproduct from the aluminum industry and as far as the aggregates are concerned we use all these coarse aggregates the same the 20 mm ground graded and the 10 mm grounded aggregates like we use in the regular concretes and we use the same natural sand as well <coughs> what we use in the regular concrete so instead of the water will be using this alkaline solutions alkaline activators since these three materials in place of the cement we are using these they are all non reactive so we need to have a solution which will make this binder reactive so that it will form a homogeneous concrete mass this is the concrete mixer and we are going to see the mixing sequence it's the same the general procedure what we see in the regular concrete mixing is a lab mixer it's not a uh, the high end mixer what we see in the regular batching plant the concrete batching plant so it's a regular lab mixer it's a pan mixer okay uh, first we'll be <coughs> using the coarse aggregates we'll be dumping this coarse aggregates in the mixer we have Uh, the mixture of the 20 mm ground graded and the 10 mm ground graded we mixed in various proportions based on the grading we got it so after this is done and we'll be uh, adding these uh, the the binder materials which you already discussed the the fly ash the slag and the uh, the red mud okay we'll be adding these materials on this this is the fly ash we added now then after that uh, we'll be adding this slag which is a by product from the steel industry the other one the last one is the red mud uh, which is <coughs> a by product from the aluminum industry so this the we have already added the binded materials now we are going to add the the fine aggregate which is nothing but the sand so we have added the coarse aggregates the binded materials and the fine aggregates which is nothing but the <coughs> sand all these are graded samples which you already seen the grading analysis of all these materials everything has been done now we are going to mix this and at the time after this uh, we'll mix this for a couple of minutes and after that we'll be adding the solution to the material at the during the time of the process of the mixing will be instead of the water normally the process is when we start mixing this we add the water at the time of mixing but instead of the water we'll be using this alkaline activators the alkaline solutions and we make the concrete so we are going to mix it now this is what the final product okay this is a fresh we call it as the plastic concrete or the fresh concrete it looks like this is almost like a concrete the only thing is there is a slight difference in the color because of the red mud which is red in color we got a slightly reddish color this will go away this is not a big issue as far as the structural concrete is concerned we'll put the concrete in different layers and this is the table vibrator we have and we are going to vibrate this by giving the vibration external vibration so this is what has been compacted the compaction is over completely the fresh concrete and we are going to uh finish the surface then we are go after that we are going to see the testing process of the concrete this is the final product which we got and this is the compression testing machine and we have placed this specimen inside this platens and we are going to load this specimen okay at a particular load that is the amount of stress that is the amount of load it can take it is going to break at a particular load the maximum load so this is what uh, the tested specimen is it's already been tested uh, we got a load of around uh, 635 0.6 kilonewtons it's been failed completely you can see the fracture planes of the concrete the specimen this is what the general requirement of any concrete uh, it's nearly 30 megapascal concrete so the same strength what we are talking about in regular concrete we also got in the same uh, this concrete as well 
This project was sponsored by Nalco, so National Aluminium Company Limited. Now, both IIT Bhuneshwar and Nalco are eagerly looking for some potential firms who could able to take up this technology and make it more market available.